Another objection is someone says, just send me some information. So to comply with this would be to go, oh, sure, yeah, I'll definitely send you some information. And then you spend 20 minutes putting together this beautiful email that you feel really good about because they, you think that they're, they're interested because they asked you to send them your information. You spend all this time, you send them the email, they delete it without even reading it because they were just trying to get rid of you. It's a polite way for prospects to get rid of you without hurting your feelings. And your feelings didn't get hurt and that's good but you ended up wasting 20 minutes putting together your information so you don't want to do that you want to keep the conversation going right it, you want to push that hit away and keep standing and keep keep the fight going so deflect back to your pre-qualifying questions and oh by the way so this is an exact same response to what we just went through except except it says so that I know what best to send you, can I ask you real quick? So there's a little bit of a, a buffer there before you get to your questions. You're almost using their objection as a reason to get into your line of questioning. So someone says, yeah, uh, you know, I, I don't have time for this right now. Just send me your info. Hey, yeah, I'll, I'll certainly do that um, so that I know exactly what to send you. Uh, can I ask you real quick, how, uh, how important is it for you to get more leads through your website? And so again, you go through that process where if you get a good answer, maybe you could schedule the meeting. And actually, there is a typo here. Instead of I understand, it should say I can certainly do that. So it should say I can certainly do that so I know, so that I know exactly what best to send you. Can I ask you real quick? Now, you could get just send me some information at another point in the call, which is late in the call. And maybe late in the call, you've already asked a bunch of your questions. So you can't really like just keep asking question after question. You know, And this is like maybe when you go for the meeting, you know, you, you've asked some questions and you're like, hey, let, I think we should meet. It, it sounds like we might be able to help you guys. And then they go, you know, I, I don't, I don't know if I'm, I have time for that. Can you just send me your information for now? So that it's kind of like a non-committal uh, objection. So it's slightly different. The early uh, time that you get this objection is the blow off. They haven't even really heard you out. You haven't asked any questions. So then you want to ask your questions. But if you get it late in a call, here's just a response. You can you can deflect back to your sales process. So you you can say something like this. Sure, I, I definitely can. Um, actually, there's there's a lot of information that I can send over to you. If, if you have some questions about anything, it might be easier and quicker to have a brief conversation over the phone on another day instead of me sending over a ton of documents for you to go through. So again whether or not that's perfect or not i i can't 100 percent say or I, I won't make you know i won't make that guarantee but it's something for you to say to to deflect the kick so that you keep standing and you, you might stay in there but the kick still might hit you might take you out you know it happens i mean 